watching my channel, don't think to change the station. Pulling up to dabble with some clever computations. This is called Respect Tech, and I'm your host, Select. New, older, busted, it really don't matter as long as it's got an AC adapter. Recover, restore, back to work in order. Maybe even donate to my local brick and mortar. Lenovo laptop with the Linux distro. Express card for the Wi Fi radios. Currently, at the moment, I'm at 23 subscribers. Maybe if you leave a like, it might get higher. Today's treasure, this is the Simple Tech 320 gigabyte external USB 2.0 hard drive. I picked this fella up a few days ago at my local thrift store in town, sporting a USB 2.0 output port, unknown voltage requirement, and power switch. Given the dated USB 2.0 and lack of required cables, I had a hunch that this external hard drive has been around for at least a few years and hasn't been used in quite some time. Upon coming home and locating the manual online, I noticed the drive requires a unique USB-A male split to type A and type B in order to operate. To be honest, without having a general interest in computers and peripherals, one might not even really know what this is, and if they did, I sincerely doubt the thrift store employees took the time to determine if it works or if there's anything on there. And the driver supporting for this drive ended with Windows XP. That dates this drive all the way back to 2006. Good lord, that's over 15 years ago. Who knows what could be on it? Maybe something cool? Probably isn't. But I decided, ah, what the hell. An additional 320 gigabyte drive to hold bulk data for $5? I'll take it. I like a good mystery. And not to my surprise, the drive fails to appear in the Explorer. I assume that it may take a moment for Windows to find the correct drivers potentially to boot the drive, but after a few minutes that idea began to fade. Not all is lost though. I knew prior to purchasing this external that if all else fails, there's a possibility that the drive could be saved by removing the external casing from the drive itself and circumventing the need to pass the information through a USB port. Damn, what am I gonna do? I can't open this. Okay, after a little bit of brute force, we were able to get it cracked open on the back. I'm not very worried about the the casing per se. I'm really only worried about the hard drive and the in internal connections. Snip, snip. All right. We're in. What do we have here? It looks like we have a Western Digital Caviar 320 gigabyte, three and a half inch SATA hard drive. Terrible, terrible cheap glue. I'm gonna get this bad boy out of here. I shouldn't, hi, hi. And we're gonna see if we can get him on and we're gonna see what we can get off and see if we can use it. And there's nothing. Nothing appears whatsoever. I did the usual steps, checking the partition manager for any signs of life, as well as running a check disk to diagnose and hopefully check and repair any system errors or sectors. Unfortunately, I didn't have much luck getting any sort of response. All right, so it is now 2.45. I haven't gotten any response yet from the computer, so I'm not sure if the hard drive is just completely failing or I'm thinking this thing is busted. So we're not gonna worry about that for now. We'll save this for later, but I have another plan. Let's go. Time for a backup plan. This is a no-name AMD Athlon old computer tower I got at Goodwill for five dollars. We're gonna just see, we're gonna maybe just let's get a money shot. Oh yeah, there she is. We're getting her. Disconnect the fan. No. Oh, I think I broke that. That is totally broke. Oh. Definitely. That's broke. That's a shame. Oh well. All right. Let's see what this desk star has in store for us. 
So we have the old IBM hard drive plugged in. Sounds like it's going to explode. I'm sure you can hear it. This, this hard drive has not been ran or turned on probably in about 10 years. We do have 38 gigs. What is this, 40 gigabyte hard drive? Yep, right there. Oh, 41 gigs. I am getting a disk response through the disk manager. I'm gonna run a command prompt. Cannot open the volume for direct access. That's a shame. So it can't open the volume for some sort of reason, but there is information on it. Well, that didn't go according to plan. Now I've got two hard drives that don't work. Since we weren't able to find any data through the partition manager, the next step of testing is attempting to boot from the drive externally. I do want this to work. I have, uh, I did re-enable legacy boot mode and all of that jazz, so hopefully we're good. Fingers crossed. It is now 4.01 p.m. and I have an update for you. I have discovered that the IBM hard drive that we pulled out of that tower has a Linux distro on it. Woo! I'm gonna take a little dive into it. All right, USB hard drive. Yep. Woo! Mandrake Linux. I've never heard of this distro before. 9.2. This is kind of cool. All right. Okay. This is. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Ah, uh, kernel panic. No initiation found. Not. Mmm. Well, that sucks. Pretty sure I'm not at any risk or danger of, you know, potentially infecting my primary hard drives with malware or anything like that. I mean, it's just so old. But do watch out for what you plug into your computers. Don't trust to everything you see on the streets. I don't know if we're gonna boot here. I'll be honest, this is a lot of text. I don't know what any of this means. So we're, let's do a little recap. So uh, this IBM Death Star with this very interesting distro. I don't know how to get it on. I think I have to plug it into like an older machine that has a BIOS and not a UEFI. I don't know, I'm dumb. So maybe that's it, maybe that's not. Just a guess. That's tough, that's tough because this came from the big old fat honker right here. And the issue with that was I wasn't getting it. It wasn't able to, I wasn't getting it to boot but I do have the operating system here and it's failing to boot here. So I don't know, I'm gonna probably reach out online, maybe see if I can find anybody to help me with this situation. Maybe we can figure out what's on this hard drive together. That's all I have for you guys today. Uh, I'm gonna keep these in a safe spot. Maybe we can do another episode on these. I'm very excited to get going with my other computers that I have I wanna show you. As a matter of fact, here, let me show you. Look, 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 look. Ooh. Oh, where'd they go? Oh, I got content on deck. Content, content, content on deck. We're ready for y'all. I've been, oh, oh man, I can't wait to show you this guy too. Woo, you won't believe what we got in store for you guys. So, uh, bless up. Have a good day. I will see you around. Ta-ta.